China is well known for pandas, dragons, and silkworm, in recent years also for technology. But did you know China is also home to some of the most eclectic dog breeds? Historical evidence has pointed out that it was the Middle Kingdom that domestication of dogs was first appeared. This can be traced as far back as 15,000 years ago, where scientists have identified maximum genetic variation. There was also a time in Chinese history when certain breeds were patronized by the rich and elite. From the biggest, smallest, fluffiest, or hairlessest, here are 10 of the most eclectic Chinese dog breeds. Before we get started, we want to know your opinion on what would you name this boy? Let us know in the comments. Here we go. Number 10. Shih Tzu Shih Tzus are another small Chinese dog breed with roots from Tibet. They don't usually exceed 27 centimeters tall or 7 kilograms in weight and can live for up to 16 years. They have a broad range of coat colors, varying between golden, white, brown, and gray tones. Shih Tzus were originally used as a gift from the Dalai Lama to the families of the Chinese royalty as a symbol of good luck. They have a friendly, playful, and very active personality, which makes them good with children and strangers and even other dogs. One noteworthy feature about these dogs is that their type of coat doesn't tend to irritate people with dog allergies. Number 9. Formosan Mountain Dog The Formosan Mountain Dog, called Tuguo in Chinese, is not from mainland China, but rather from the small island of Taiwan. In fact, they're the land race breed of the island, which is also called Formosa Island. Despite their names, these dogs are not solely found in the mountainous regions of Taiwan. They wander the streets in even large metropolitan cities such as the country's capital, Taipei. Formosan mountain dogs have adapted well to the modernization of the country. In rural areas, they've been trained to be hunting dogs, guard dogs, search and rescue, and family companions. Number 8. Shai Si Quan The Shai Si dog is one of the breeds considered to go and originates from the Guizhou province in China. There is evidence that suggests the breed was created in the 11th century and was used for hunting small animals. Due to this purpose, the breed is very intelligent and agile. However, at the same time, the breed is very friendly towards humans and is very protective of its owners. Shai Si dogs stand between 17 and 20 inches tall and usually weigh between 22 and 66 pounds. However, they're not particularly well known outside of China and current estimates state that there are very few purebred Shai Si dogs left in the world. Number 7. Kunming Wolf Dog The Kunming Wolf Dog is named as such because it originates from a domesticated dog breed being crossbred with a wolf. This gives the breed a wilder appearance and also affects temperament. They were created in the 1950s specifically for military assistance, and although there isn't an official breeding list, they can definitely count German Shepherds as their ancestors. Typically, the Kunming Wolf Dog is between 25 and 27 inches tall and weighs between 66 and 84 pounds. The breed is very intelligent and can be trained quickly and easily. This is why they're used as military dogs, but it also makes them great pets. Number 6. Chow Chow The Chow Chow originates from Chinese indigenous dogs, and some historians believe it can trace its history back over 2,000 years. They were originally bred as a hunting and fighting dog, but were also used to pull sleds and are well adapted to the colder climates of northern China. The breed is a recognizable one, but they're not particularly popular for several reasons. They don't do well in hot climates, which rules them out to a large number of potential owners, and they can be challenging to manage. Chows are known for their stocky appearance and have a square head and large body. Number 5. Pekingese the breed was originally kept by Chinese royalty as a companion dog, and that's where its name comes from. The Forbidden City, the seat of Chinese royalty, is located in Peking, now called Beijing. However, the breed has soared in popularity around the world and is favored for its appearance and temperament. The breed has hardly changed in the last 2,000 years and is known for its long and fluffy coat. At their biggest, Pekingese dogs stand 9 inches tall and weigh between 7 and 14 pounds. Number 4. Pug the Pug is probably one of the most recognizable breeds in the world and has held a special place in popular culture for many years. Characterized by its squished face, stocky body, and curly tail, Pugs have a long history in both the East and the West. In fact, when they were first brought to Europe, they became a popular companion for royal families. Pugs can be stubborn, but not in a bad way, and they're easy enough to train if you're committed. Due to their use as companion dogs, pugs appreciate the human interaction and are very aware of changes in their owner's mood. 
While they do require plenty of exercise, pugs also appreciate sleeping for much of the day. Number three, Sharpay. Sharpays are known around the world, but have never really taken off as a famous dog, although they have a special place among dedicated breeders and owners. Not only do they have a wrinkly face, but the wrinkles also cover the rest of its body. They have a blue-black mouth, which is only really also seen in the Chow Chow, which was one of the original species the Sharpay was bred from. Sharpays were originally bred as guard dogs, so this has resulted in them being wary of strangers and needing constant socialization from an early age. Number 2. Chinese Crested Dog The Chinese Crested Dog is considered to be one of the small dog breeds originating in China, and they do make excellent lap dogs. They were originally bred to be a companion for the disabled and elderly, and so they have all of the desired characteristics of a companion pet. They're faithful, calm, and very friendly, and make great family pets. They could be considered lazy, as their favorite hobby is to sleep. They're still athletic enough to have a good runaround when they want one. Their agility is a noble trait, and they often do very well in competitions. Number 1. Chongqing Dog This breed is also known as the East Sichuan Hound and originates from the region of Sichuan and Chongqing in southwest China. This is related to their original purpose as a hunting dog, as they have to be good at sniffing out prey. As with any other ex-hunting breed, they do require plenty of exercises and mental stimulation. An archaeological dig found statues resembling the breed in a graveyard from the Han Dynasty, proving that it's clearly been around for some time. Chinese Chongqing Dog Statue in a Museum Back then, the statues were used to accompany the family into the afterlife, which proves that they were seen as a very protective breed. That concludes our video of the top 10 Chinese dog breeds. Which one of these dogs do you like the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.